Hello, welcome back. Last time, I accidentally stumbled into the hardest puzzle in the game so far, just kind of sitting out in the open in the land of autumn. Now I have to do it again. <laughs> but at least I understand the concepts. Takes me a moment to wake up, and I don't think I can speed that up at all. I've tried several different buttons, and none of them seem to do it. Okay, so principles that I've learned. Each entity basically takes up two spaces on the grid, and a pumpkin can coexist at the exit. The secret is two pumpkins inside the uh, inner part. The question is, when do I unspool? Let's try and just see what happens if once the pumpkins are all vertical, I start moving them backwards. Just to kind of get a measurement of what's what here. So everything that can move backward will move backward right now. That opens up enough space for the person to move where they need to. Well, I guess really, the thing is... Okay, a much better way to think of this rather than just forward and backward movement is just get each one to its allocation of two spaces. So you are in your allocation of two spaces. Those are the two. You're in your allocation of two spaces. It's those two. Therefore, let me tr Oh, shoot. I... That's map. That's fine. That doesn't interrupt my thing. Uh, other bumper. So at this point, I want to automate you and automate you. And you are in the correct spot, too. Oh, what's that gonna do? I can undo if it does something I don't like. It did something I didn't like. It did something I didn't like. Okay, I don't know how automation works. It's not entirely obvious to me. Does it maybe just do the opposite of what the previous move was? Or whatever is available? Whoa. Anyway, let's just turn it off. I'll do this manually. That's fine. Uh, okay, no, I don't want, don't want to auto on anything. There we go. So let's see, person needs to get in there, two pumpkins also do. Everything's pretty much where it is. I can measure my progress by... Uh, how many missteps the human takes. Okay, so let's try automating now. Now that I've input the move I want for each of these, will it continue doing the opposite? That did the correct thing. That did not. Okay, no. Looks like I can't use automation here. All right. That's fine, I'll do it myself. Down, right, left, right. Up, left, right, left. Down, right, left, right. Uh, whoa, careful, that's fine. Up, left, right, left. Now, how many things need to move around the human? Right, up, up. Once I have the correct mental model here, this isn't that hard to think about, it's just a lot of, uh... A lot of careful, meticulous manipulation. Alright, so human is in one of their two spaces. I will need to pull out... Oh, could I have moved you right there earlier? I think that might be a possibility, because... At this point, all those pumpkins are moving down. Okay, so I think by undoing to there, I've saved myself some... Actually, I want three moved out, don't I? So therefore, I want to go a little farther back. Okay, you three are making a journey downward right now. With that timing. One just stays up there. Just stick with where you are. You actually left your territory a little bit. 
which is fine. I will need to keep on oscillating here. Alright, human needs to come out. These need to follow? Yes. Okay, this should be optimal efficiency, I think. And those can keep on filing forward. They'll never have to reverse because... There's enough time to do everything, probably. Alright, so you file out of there. You oscillate for a moment. And I'm done. Okay, so I can just automate everybody who is not the human, I believe. Uh, let's try that. Oh, this is a way I can see the turn order. So just steer left and iterate through them like that. Yeah, okay, so there is a way to inspect it. That's not all complete. 302 is not... Okay, there's a way to do it better? What went wrong there, though? No, really, what went wrong there? I thought I applied all of the concepts of the thing as well as they could be applied. Ah, so I don't want to move three from the top. I want to move just one, because the human needs to take up one of those pairs of spaces. You've already moved farther than your territory. Uh... Yeah, okay, so just, just understand the territories. Your territory is somewhere around there. Your territory is here. These two are just kind of going to stay where they are. Yeah, okay. Left, right, left. Up, down... Uh, down? Right, left, right. Down, up, down, left, right, left. There we go. Okay, so stable. Up, down, up, uh, uh, right, left, right. Down, up, down, left, right, left. Up, down, up, right, left, right. Down, up, down, left, right, left. Uh, up. Wait, no. Uh, down, up. Up, I guess. Why do things look weird? I don't know, because my spacing's uneven now. Anyway, uh, going through these motions again with a better plan at the end. Oops. Oh boy. <laughs> Imagine doing this in the version of the game where undoing erases the token at the end. It would be harder. I would be doing it more slowly and carefully. But here I can just kind of make inputs and erase mistakes if I make them. Uh, I am fine, actually. No, this is correct. You're gonna back off. You three will queue up because you're about to know you will not. Two of these stay up here. Only one passes the human. That's right. That one. So human exchanges with that. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to manipulate the turn order so that that arrives at a better time. Yeah, there wouldn't be. Okay, so I guess I can just kind of have... Yeah, okay, now those want to follow the human more closely. Hold up. I made a misstep with you. You're going outward. Uh, you go this way. Stay in your territory. You go down, you go right, you go right. Right, left, right. Exit. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. There we go. And now I can automate everyone except myself. And that should do it. 
How is that not it? No, really. You are telling me I can get more efficient than that? How? Okay, so I re-input what I did before. I am noticing that there's a big space between the human and this pumpkin, and I have one bit of possible speculation. Hmm. Okay, that's as compact as it can get. I'm not gonna automate here just in case somehow that was messing things up. Or like if automation erases tokens the way undo used to or something? That wouldn't make much sense to me, but I guess I don't know for sure it's not the case. So 288 was my old score, I think. Okay, so what if the human dodges in the other direction? So that's you. That's you split apart. That's your territory. That's your territory. Okay. So everybody's found their territory. Down, up, down, right, left, right. Up, down, up, left, right, left. Gate is open. So the change I wanted to do was what now? Human dodges in the other direction? What did I mean when I said those words? Like... Above instead of... Below? Yeah, so I put three pumpkins in there. Three? Okay, I'll try it. Wait, what? No? No, 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 that's not right, is it? That doesn't sound right. Because three doesn't fit. Wait, yes it does. Three fits, human goes around. Okay, yeah, so that should be fine. And I want to insert them in the correct order so that they can come out all together. Okay, so up, up, right. Up, right, right. Up, right, down. Okay, this might end up making sense. This is such a cool puzzle concept. It's just uncomfortable to work with, but that's part of what makes it so interesting. Okay, so... Uh, I cannot do that. This feels like it's going to end up being worse. Okay, so you need to stick to your territory. Strictly. But now I can start their journey outward. Yeah, okay, so this will probably be better by, like, one cycle somehow. Because, yeah, notice how those are exactly missing the human. Like, there is no space between us. So somehow that just works out better. Yeah, and we exactly miss each other on the way... No, we don't. Okay, so I have one misstep here, essentially. But will that get me better than 288? It felt like I avoided one somehow... Am I bowling that number? I don't know. Um, how long does each cycle take? Well, six. Or seven, I guess, because I'm one. Okay, looks like I will arrive quicker than 288. All complete. 274. I did it! Okay. That was a fascinating puzzle. This is hardest puzzle in the game so far, but also one of the most interesting ones for sure. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so finally, we can see more of the game again than just that one little screen there. That opened this gate, which had no other immediate effects. Does that let me cheat at the race? I think so. I got a worm. Uh, let's try. 
I want to have a race. You can stop to solve a silken bond. Ready, set. Almost set. 3, 2, 1. 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125, 0 0.625. 0 0.3125. Ah! Did I do it? I did! Wow, you discovered a cool shortcut! <laughs> hey, you could have used the shortcut too! Alright! Happy to be bested in a race. And you're my friend now! Okay, cool! And that was what solving that extra hard secret silicon bond got me. Okay, any more words? Okay! Great! <laughs> You'll do even better than you did before. Okay, so... Uh, was there more to do... That's the button I pressed to get out of that. Was there more to do right in this area? So clearly I did this machine, that machine... And that machine opened up the gate here. If I just kind of keep following this thread... I want to do the one in the... Oh, hello! I feel like I never noticed this. Right, I'm looking for a gift shop with a knight badge. That could be the gift shop there. I feel like I just never noticed this part of the terrain. Yeah, I don't know, I skirted around, I was just looking at other stuff. I want to solve the machine in the man's house who really wanted uh, a demonstration of how to do it. That was... South of me, I think? Let me show you how it works. Alright. I will show you. So, conveyors are here. One pumpkin is. A and B. Two targets. Okay, I mean... What's the trick here? Ah, I see it. Some of it at least. So one trick is, Pumpkin has to go in there to push that block out. Second trick is, Pumpkin is already in the correct parity, okay? Now Human has to make a misstep here. Maybe that can be okay. Maybe I wanted to do those in the other order. Do I need to change my... yes, I need to change my alignment. So I'll step on the conveyor. Just, I know that because we're the other way around than we were before. And now I need the pumpkin's assistance for getting through the conveyor. How will that happen? I guess way over here, but we can't... Okay. That should be fine, I think. It's not. Ah, so pumpkin just needs to realign. Or I do. Uh, who has a moment? Pumpkin does. Okay. Perfection? And you can just continually realign there. Uh, no you can't. No, that can never work. I think that can never work? So I needed to already be up there at the time that the A block went up. Okay, I can do that. Therefore, we need to change our order. So Pumpkin hangs out down there. Did I realign myself? Okay, so I'm gonna realign there, just so I'm closer to the Pumpkin. Pumpkin hangs out here. I go to the other side. Wait, no, how am I gonna do this? Oh, I see how I'm gonna do it. It's sneaky. I'm actually pushing from all the way over here. Whoa, that looked like it went past... Yeah, that actually went down when I steered up. Okay, so yeah, so Pumpkin can finish the job here without my involvement. I do have to wait one. It would have been nice if I could have realigned on the conveyor, but that's okay. That's all complete anyway. Alright, great. One shot. I got a token, and did I get a friend? Flamoxed. <laughs> Alright. A hay penny? Aww. <laughs> it was rounded to a whole value and became zero pennies. I guess truncated, actually. Oh, well, 
why did you do that? Okay, well, you had your reason. So, used to be a wire. Uh, are you my friend? You are. There is that little icon. Okay, I didn't notice the message coming up. <laughs> or I noticed and immediately forgot. One of those things happened. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's work on getting toward that night. Since everything's going well all of a sudden. I'm gonna go here. Ooh, copy protection chip. Oh, that's interesting. So, I can't interact with this machine until I have another item. I'm waiting for this, like, relay circuit or whatever the heck it is that I have in my inventory to do something. There's going to be a routing puzzle related to that since it discharges so quickly. I don't imagine that's what I put in this... Slot? It wasn't identified as a copy protection chip. But who knows, maybe it is. Okay, well let's just do some other random machines that are here, like this one. Copy protection chip's probably just something I'll find somewhere else. Okay, so... Uh, I think I see what's happening here. Pumpkin has to get through and... Push A around and push B around. Hang on, why is the pumpkin involved? Ah, because whoever pushes B to the right will be locked in with it. Sorta. So I think this is what's happening. We have to get around each other, which fence is convenient for doing. Oops, that's a misstep. Alright, all complete. Cool, but there's something more to this. I need to approach from another angle. Okay, I'm tracing something long and I'm doing it backward, but that's okay. Uh, oh, look at that weird embedded A. What does that mean? Okay, it was on a conveyor. It had to mean something. Is B also on a conveyor? It is. Wait. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh, so... The problem is the pumpkin blocks me when I do that. Okay, so, so... I have zero choices here. I have zero choices here. I have one choice here. I can go down instead of up. I don't see how that's going to help me. Yes, I do, because the pumpkin can get ahead. Okay, let's go down again. Pumpkins can go through goals. It's a very important thing to understand. Okay, that was a tiny little machine. Nice and simple. Oh, a variation. Wait, I'm totally doing these backwards. <laughs> this keeps happening. Uh, so I need to alter my... Offset with the pumpkin, but just one time. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I did the hardest one first, and it was totally okay. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna be in there. Is that a place I can just walk to? Ooh, closed gate. And what opens it is unknown. Uh-oh. We have an impasse. So, that extension cord you took out of that machine... Hmm... Hmm... Is that the one that went down here? <laughs> so I guess... Now, hang on. I can identify what it looks like for a wire to go underground, sort of. Like, it goes into one of those bricks. It comes out of one of those bricks. So, one of the two bricks... ...next to the... ...gate here... ...must connect to something in, like... ...this direction, or probably the other one, actually. 
I guess? Otherwise, there's just no getting in here. Unless there's some kind of water walking path or something. It doesn't particularly look like there's one. Let's try the other soul. Hang on. Somehow I feel like this... Whoa. Oh, or an underground path. I forgot this existed. Let's go here. And listen to this variation on the music for a moment before it gets overridden by cave music. Whoa, this is a lot of records. These are going to be in the ciphered language, aren't they? This is not something I can read. I thought that was reading. What are these? They have wires coming out of them. Oh! Delay line memory reader, you say? Okay, so this is where I'll be racing from that other place. Just how quick does that discharge? And the joke is that it's kind of hard to get in here. That's pretty funny. I think what that might mean... Oh boy, where do I even charge that thing up? Is it the Land of Ice? It might be. I should have noted its location. So... There's a routing challenge at play here. I think it's the Land of Ice? Which... Where did I even put that? I just kind of stick it over somewhere else all on its own. Where's the land of flowers? Here's the ice. I think I charged up the thing, like, down there, so this... maybe needs to connect to the end of that. And I need to charge up the thing, sprint along this bridge, up across that one. Like, the route I'll be following is not this one that I'm on now. Ooh, is there a walking path through here? There is not. Some heavy percussion in this version of the music. For a moment. So I think the route I'm going to be walking... ...is, uh, oh, there are wires here. Of course there are. Oh, whoops, I fell. Ah, so I need this open before I can access that bridge. I think I understand what that bridge is for. So I'll come in that bridge. If the gate is open, then I can go up here. Enter that. Go the way that I just walked. What kind of gate is this? Maybe it's a split that, like, goes this way and just powers both sides of this. So if I follow this wire... I'm hoping I don't need to go to the castle before I power that thing up, because that would be a problem, wouldn't it? Maybe. This Island of Autumn is a complicated little problem to unpack. Well, I can learn what this type of split is. Yeah, a wire clearly flows in this direction, and I think we'll just power both of those things at once. And do I need that on to go there? I do. Okay, so this is the next machine I must do. I have an idea of what I'm doing overall. I'll do this machine next time and see where that leads.